I'm Bleeding Critic. I got caught up with the hype, the enthusiastic marketing with this movie crawl. On my way to the cinema, I was like an overexcited teenager. The start of the movie, the way the story begins and quickly drags you into the protagonist's desperate situation is excellent. The weather effects are sometimes breathtaking and believable and sometimes they're just stage effects, but thankfully it doesn't get in the way of this fast-paced rollercoaster ride of a movie. Using a natural disaster as a backdrop and featuring action in a seriously claustrophobic space is simply brilliant and very entertaining. The most powerful ingredient is the music when the terror and fear kicks in. For me, it reminded me of the action sounds from the movie Terminator 2. It works really well and it's my favourite thrill about it. Now sometimes not seeing the cause of fear and terror is powerful. Just think of Jaws, Alien and the game Alien Isolation. Less can be more scary. But with Crawl, there's no clever ways of presenting the scares. The jump scares are predictably set up. So believability goes out of the window and the action becomes like a cartoon. It's over the top. Great fun, it certainly is, but I leave the auditorium feeling cheated. And when characters get wounded, I just don't believe their reaction to their pain. I don't believe it's genuine. The film's quickly over and it all seems a little... vanilla. The film's mistake is treating the audience as idiots. There's a few terrible character decisions that favoured the ridiculous instead of creating an experience that will warn me never to visit Florida. Crawl is over the top and a fun ride, but I wanted to watch this movie to feel absolutely terrified. I wanted to walk away believing the hype. Now here's the thing, if they cast Jane Levy in the main role, then this film would have been more powerful. The acting is surface, no truth behind the eyes. Crawl is definitely entertaining and does have some jaw-dropping moments of genius. 14-year-olds will go crazy for this and if you're drunk or stoned, it'll rock your world. Great story, great fun. Huge terror potential that's let down by the cartoon violence and sometimes comedy acting and annoying plot ideas. Thankfully, it doesn't fit under the same banner of the Sharknado bullshit arena. Now, a movie that does deliver a sense of dread and atmosphere that this film lacks is Rogue, which is written and directed by the guy that did Wolf Creek. Cruel. I was disappointed because it should have been incredible. I was definitely entertained, but I wasn't horrified. Oh, this movie had great marketing and I fell for the hype. But there's no horror imagination, just fast food predictable frills. Now here's the trailer for my interactive website. This is William Friedkin. Don't panic. If your screen starts to bleed, you are about to witness bleeding critics. I'm the anonymous horror film critic, the creator and narrator of immersive scary stories. Bleedingcritic.com is the interactive horror platform where horror fans have a voice and are actually seen. Horror Memories, this is where you talk about that moment from any film that really damaged you. And there's more interaction for you with Horror Therapy. Share that moment from your real life where something scared or terrified you. I like short horror films, especially ones that don't get the attention they deserve. So if you've made a short horror film, send it to me. I'll even add a special filmed introduction. You can watch the short horror films I've chosen right now. On to my horror content. Scary Stories UK is my YouTube channel, so all my YouTube videos are here as well, and they will freeze your spine. Check out my interviews and photo galleries, and watch my spoiler-free film reviews, and when you see any of the films I've reviewed, you can add your own rating. Follow me across social media, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel Scary Stories UK. Follow and interact with me on Twitter at Bleeding Critic and on Instagram. Do a bit of retail therapy with clown merch. There's five designs of my face splattered over 50 different products. And Patreon is a way you can support my interactive horror platform and my YouTube channel from as little as $5 a month. During the time you've watched this video, I've scuttled along your ear canal into your skull and I ain't leaving.